Okay, hello YouTube. This is Lisa Haas again with Lisa Haas Custom Sewing. Um, I wanted to briefly go through how you can draft your own facing, whether you're using a PMB or not. Uh, most pattern companies will draft a facing precisely along the neckline and shoulder line and center front or center back. But I found sometimes it's better if you reduce the length on the neckline by depending on how what the measure total measurement is of your neckline by an eighth or sometimes a quarter inch. Now what what this will do, you'll ease your neckline facing, your neckline facing into the actual neckline of the garment. This will pull the fashion fabric from the front and back of the garment inward slightly so you don't have that gaping. So let me just show you right quick how to do this. I'm in pattern editor here and here's my two facings on just a basic blouse. They're in blue with the dashed lines. So let me take this one and what I'm going to do, zoom out, I'm going to move it over here, zoom selected, and then I'm going to ungroup it. Now there's four, there's two shoulder seams, so that's four opportunities to make a reduction. What I'm going to do is locate a point. Let's see, 1 8 is 0.125, so a 16 is 6.0625. Let's just see. If an 8 is 0.125 divided by 2, 0 0.0625. 0 0.0625. Okay, here's our point. Now what I'm going to do here is select that shoulder seam and then I'm going to zoom select it. I'm going to draw a new line. I better make it the same as the other one. I'm going to make this one green so we'll see the new line. And here's the outside of the facing. Right click. Right click on that point. This is going to be intersected then up here. And then we can get rid of this line. Zoom previous. There's our new neckline facing. Now if you have it squared off like this, that's actually pretty good. You can do the same thing here if you want this to not quite flop around, but it's not ne as necessary as doing it on the neckline. Let's just group this again. And let's just zoom out. I'll show you right quick. Zoom window. Make sure I get it right on this corner. Zoom selected. Okay, now here you can see it starts at the at the exact shoulder right here, but at the neckline, one sixteenth times two, there's an eighth. And if we do the same over here, you don't really have to do the back. Let's put it that way. If you just do it one eighth around the front neckline, you're going to eliminate any gapping that is prone to happen. Gapping actually comes be because you're either you didn't stitch it right or you stretched it somehow 
or you even your facing was bigger than your neckline somehow that can happen when you don't cut precisely or any number of things that can happen but if you want to make sure that it doesn't ever happen to you adjust your facing like this and like I said you don't have to do the back unless you find that it really gapes so that's all you would have to do in order to eliminate any gapping. Thanks for watching this short video. Y'all have a great day, and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, or share. Have a good one.